learning new information today about that Thornton hazmat scene we first told you about yesterday. A school and six homes were evacuated after dangerous chemicals were found inside of a house. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn is back in that neighborhood today. And Russell, this is a bizarre scene because it started as a suicide. Yeah, Eric, that man committed suicide back on Sunday, yet police and other authorities just wrapping up their investigation this afternoon after an illegal chemical was found in that man's bedroom. We have some video to show you from earlier today. We watched at about 1.30 this afternoon as hazmat crews drove away with those hazardous chemicals in a special hazmat trailer. Crews with the FBI, ATF, and Adams County Bomb Squad worked for two days to remove all those dangerous chemicals. When crews responded to the suicide call on Sunday, they found more than a dozen containers with the chemicals. Some of the chemicals were found in the original containers inside the uh, bedroom of the deceased and also in a walk-in closet in that area. Uh, and then there was other chemicals that were in just Tupperware or gallon containers that had to be identified. That man who committed suicide was a chemical engineering grad student. Police aren't releasing the name of that illegal substance because they say it's on its way to being destroyed. Those six homes that were evacuated are now occupied again. The evacuation orders lifted. Live in Thornton, Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.